do not come from what you personally believe some supernatural thing gave you. Your rights come from the, uh, you know, the, the uh, passing of laws uh, within our government. Okay, we got Mike here in Austin. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, what I wanted to talk about was I frequently call and talk. I want to talk about the soul and the existence, my belief in the existence of it. Now, I just want to pose a question to you. If you believe, do you believe that, or do you agree that uh, energy doesn't come from anywhere and it doesn't go to nowhere? Sorry, um, what? You're breaking up very badly. The energy Mike. itself does not um, come out of nowhere and then go back to nowhere. Okay. I mean, it, 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 it's a non Right, energy. I, I, are you on a cell phone or a really bad? Yeah, the roll is a bad. Come back now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're, we're missing like every other word, so oh, it's hard oh, to I'm tell sorry. what you're saying. It's a horrible cell phone. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. If you do, you agree that energy is a, does not come from nowhere and does yes. not go to nowhere. I mean, it, it comes yes. from somewhere. I mean, it's an ongoing thing. It's a. Okay. Yes, and. Well, okay, then if co consciousness can be thought of as a form of energy... How do you get to that? It can't. Consciousness is not a form of energy. It's a process. Okay, how do you, how do you say that? I mean, how do you, uh, how do you define that, then? How do you explain that? Uh, well, you'd, you'd actually have to demonstrate that consciousness is a form of energy. We know the energy that is involved in, the, in consciousness right there's there's chemical energy there's electrical energy going on in the brain those are two known forms of energy and neither of them is conscious in and of itself where consciousness comes from is the you know the neurons of your brain involved in a process that uses uh, chemistry and electricity and mm -hmm. that that is consciousness it's not the parts that make it up it's the process that those parts are undergoing as an example that may be a bad one, um, think of the television that, that you're, you're looking at. Yes, it uses energy to produce a picture on the screen. And I, I, ignoring the fact that the picture is, is made of light and therefore is made up of energy, the picture itself, the subject, the content, the thing that you perceive is not energy. Right. And it does not exist. It is the product of that. And right. if you think of it that way, it's when, when you turn off the TV, it's not like you've uh, killed off a picture. You've stopped the energy that was producing a picture as a product of that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't believe it's a soul, but um, okay, that's very good. It's, that's what I want it's, an appealing, it's an appealing idea to lots of people for lots of reasons, especially, you know, if, if for example, you've lost a loved one or something, uh, the idea that, that they're somehow not gone um, can be very appealing. And, and I have no idea whether or not it's true. I have no reason to think it is because nobody's come up with anything that would qualify as a soul. And everything that people want, every attribute that people want to give to a soul, we identify as part of the brain. Yeah, I, I see. Well, the reason I, my, the reason I think about it is my mom died about four years ago, and I called in the show and talked to Russell, and he, was, he gave me a really uh, nice sanguine kind of a, he said, uh, he said, I guess the Jewish religions, or they try to, or what, what you try to, people try to celebrate what she had, what she, sure. what she meant to us, and that's how, she, that's how she can live on. So, I just, I just thinking about a lot, you know, the soul, and, and um, I just kind of have a hard time reconciling myself with the fact that it, we come from nowhere, and we go nowhere. I mean, I'm saying, I mean, yeah. when I say we, I just mean us. The it, it, it sucks, but you know, whatever, there's, you know? There, it, we're, we are products of nature. We have no particular reason to expect. Uh, special treatment in the first place, you know. Everything else has uh, uh, comes into existence and and survives for a while, and then is is torn apart by natural forces. It happens to us too, and it sucks. If you don't like it, the thing to do is to support research into life extension, because it's it. because because life is fundamentally an engineering problem. <laughs> well, just real quick, do y'all believe in? Um Oh, fuck. I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot, guys. All right. Call back if you think of it. Okay. Bye. Yeah, we're at... Uh
We've actually got a couple lines open. Russell's actually here. They tried to show him real quick, but there's not good lighting over in the darkened corner where we hide him when we don't let him up here. But, but Russell says thanks. Uh, Wait, um, oh, the, you're and actually, now Russell is talking out there in the dark. You're actually room. nobody in the studio of a microphone and reading the stuff from the chat room. I don't know why. I don't either. You're a masochist. We got Tracy in Austin. How are you? I don't either. Okay. Hi, Tracy. Hi there. Tracy in Austin. How are you? Oh yeah, you're gonna want to turn that down so that you don't get the echo and the delay. Like Okie okay, dokie. We'll do right now. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, well. Yeah, that's confusing me. That delay is confusing me. Uh, well, my question is similar to that previous caller's. Uh, uh -huh. I was telling the guy there before I was talking to him about getting screened, and I was just saying that I'm not wanting to get into the religious dogma, the Christianity of Muslims, and how they've been persecuted and all that, because you guys make a very good point in what you're saying, and I watch from time to time. Okay, but my biggest question is, and I started having these questions, like that dude, my mother died some years back, and I was raised like so many of us were, Christian, or you know what I'm saying, love to Jesus and all that stuff. And some of those days started dying, and I mean basically my whole family just started pretty much dropping. And I found myself almost alone. So right. you know what happens normally, what happens, well, then if that happens, then that must not have been true, everything that they taught me is what I'm thinking. Okay. So then it put me on this 10 to 12-year, I guess, excursion into life and death and life after death. And I read a lot of manuals about life after death, these people that die supposedly, and, you know, they souls and spirits go someplace else. I don't even want to touch on all that as much as what I want to ask you is one question. How do we, as atheists, if you're an atheist, if I'm an atheist, how do I personally get around the fact that creationists and atheists agree on one thing, and not too many people bring this up, but we all agree on one thing. The whole world agrees on one thing, the whole educated world, and that is, if you go back in time far enough, atheists, scientists, and creationists agree that at some point in time, before there was time, there was nothing. Everyone seemed to be able to agree that there was absolutely nothing. Actually, and, 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 and all I'm saying is this, how did we get here? Because if there's a Big Bang Theory, which is what I'm trying to believe in, which is what I kind of kind of cater to, there's a Big Bang. I have no problem with that. But my question to you is, and I can't believe you don't have this question, because you guys are intelligent people, and I know you are. I can hear how you talk talking. We're, we're ready to answer you, sir. So i got to know in your mind that somewhere, somewhere back there, you've got to wonder, what made something go bang? And what I'm getting at is, and I'm sure you've heard this before, what I'm getting at is not a God, not an invisible friend or whatever. No, 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 no. But some type of intelligent design mm. seems to just not be able to leave my consciousness alone. I just don't see how we could come from nothing to nothing. Like the old yeah, song goes, the old black song back in the day, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, I'll stop and, right and, there, and I just want to know what you got to think and about you, that. You're engaged. That's, it's an argument from ignorance is what it is. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, that's why you have this appeal for intelligent design. First of all, everybody in the world doesn't agree uh, that, about this idea of nothing. And what I'd recommend is that after, after the show's over, the first thing you do is go out and Google uh, Universe from Nothing by Lawrence Krauss. It's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a lecture, a talk he gave at the Atheist Alliance International Convention from 2009. It's going to be about the best explanation of what physicists mean when they talk about nothing and something coming from nothing. Okay. But even setting that aside, what you're basically saying is, I can't see how this could have happened without an intelligence. And that is, that is the definition of an argument from incredulity, argument from ignorance, that I can't understand X or I can't think of a better explanation than X, mm -hmm. therefore X is the most plausible and the one I'm going to accept. And that's simply not true. Intelligence needs to be demonstrated. Okay. And, and, it, it doesn't and by become you the being default. intelligent, an intelligent being, by the ape being intelligent, by the fish being intelligent, by dolphins being intelligent, I mean, something to me, it, 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 I, I don't know where did it come from. I mean, I mean, is that not a question that you ever is, have in your mind at is, all? Is evolution a problem for you, or are you okay with evolution? I'm okay with evolution. That's, well, that's, that's why I got such a problem with all my Christian friends, because I'm okay with that, and they were to put me out of their house. But my problem is, but Tracy? I think that evolution had a designer, or some kind of a design. Something said, start from oh, here. I see. And then, yeah, then you don't know what I'm... But I then began Tracy, something. Began something that Tracy, man, I don't know, that, dude. Tracy, I don't know. What do you think, man? May I? Yes. Yeah, uh, Tracy, but that, that's the whole point okay, of the theory of evolution okay. is how 